Namaste. Good morning, friends. My name is Sharonda. Welcome to India House's 930 yoga class. Let's start uh, in our comfortable seated position, whether you have your hips on a block, whether you're sitting on the floor with your ankles crossed, whether you're sitting in uh, Vajrasana or Hero's Pose. You choose a posture that of course suits you best. I choose to sit on the block because it's more comfortable for me and also is good for the hips and alignment of the spine. Wherever you are, take a second or two to place your hands on the top portion of your socks, lengthen out your spine, just to get a sense of verticalness or straightness of the spine. Then release, bringing your hands to connect, thumb at the center of the heart, Think about the top of your head going to the ceiling or to the sky if you're practicing outdoors and relaxing the elbows. <clears throat> we inhale together, closing our eyes. And we exhale together. Inhale once more. And exhale. Um, Sahana Babatu Sahana Buna Tu Sahavir Yam Karababa Hai Tejas Bina Badi Tamas to Mapit Vishaba Hai Om Shanti 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 We take our hands behind our back. The left hand grabs the right wrist. We lean our chest back, look up. Then exhale, bringing the top of the head to the floor. Being grateful, of course, for your life, for the people, for the places, for all the things that you have in your life. And being grateful for yourself, acknowledging the teachers, past, present, and future. And being grateful just to be here on this earth and grateful for yourself, of course. Return your head to vertical. With a deep inhale, bringing the hands in front of the belly. Rubbing the palms together, making them warm. Massaging the face, starting at the top of the head. Cupping the eyes, the chin, the bridge of the nose, the mouth, the neck, the tops of the shoulders, of course. Bringing the hands on top of the heart, giving our heart a spin in one direction. And then spinning the heart in the other direction, giving ourselves a little love. Bringing the palm on the top of the thighs with the hands facing the ceiling. Dip the chin and open the eyes with a gentle smile. We take an inhale together to begin our practice. And we exhale together. Taking the hands, interlacing them in front of the heart. Inhale, relax the elbows, and then extend the arms to the sky, keeping the arms in front of the chest. Exhale, release the arms to the sides of the floor. Inhale, palms face me, extending the arms towards the ceiling, interlacing at the top. Flipping the palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach through the length of the arms. Palms slowly drift to the floor. Inhale, big deep breath, expanding towards the belly. Interlacing at the top. Exhale, reach through the length of the arms. Inhale, interlace the fingers at the top. Pause the inhale. 
Exhale, lean the body to your right. Keeping the head up. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean the body to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the arms, reaching through the fingertips. Palms return to the floor. Inhale. Interlace at the top. Palms face the seal. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the fingers reaching through the palms and the arms. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Palms connect. Reaching the arms forward of the chest in line with the shoulder blades. Way too high, way too low. Inhale, expand the arms to the width of the shoulders. Exhale, close. Inhale, expand. Exhale, close. Inhale, expand. Exhale, close. Inhale, expand. And exhale, close. Returning the palms to the thighs. Bringing your hands, making your fists by collapsing the thumbs into the center of the palm. And the thumb, your fingers are Sorry about that. The thumb goes across the top of the, the fingers. Then bring the elbows so that the fists so that they face each other and turn them down. Free the fingers. One more time, making your fist, the, the palms touch, face each other, then towards the floor and free the fingers. Now make your fist once more and circle the fists away from you. And then circle the fist towards you. Free the hands, spread the hands and the fingers as wide as possible. And then open and close the hands. Might sound like you're snapping the fingers, which is totally fine. Then pause the fingers and play the fingers like you're trying to play piano keys. Just opening up the fingers. If you started from the thumb side, reverse the direction with the pinkies. Sometimes it takes a minute or two to kind of figure these things out. Totally fine. Shake out your hands. And then free yourself from your seated position, extending your legs forward into our Dandasana pose. Feet face me, your palms are adjacent to your waist or in the level of your hips. Bend the elbows, reach the elbows back. Elongate your spine by shifting your weight to your right and your left. Keeping your legs and your feet, keeping your feet flexed and your legs close together. Now pause in the middle, bend your knees so that the soles of the feet face the floor and the knees are relatively flat facing at the ceiling. Your palms are level at your waist and then drop your knees to the right of your screen and your palms go behind the right hip. Pause there. Then go to the other side, of course, and pause there. Take an inhale to the center and then to the right once more. Keeping the spine as vertical as possible. Inhale, center. Right. And then pause so that the hands are behind the waist. Extend the feet fully. And then about the level of your hips, bringing the hands in front of the thighs. Take a second or two to elongate the feet. 
or the, the, the spine rather. Flex your feet strongly. Fingertips to the front of your thighs. Pull the chest slightly forward and lift the chest. Now shift your body weight to the right and the left. Keeping your, your fingers in firm contact with the floor. Keeping your feet strongly flexed. Now pause in the middle, bringing the hands in front of the chest with the palms connected. You reach forward and to the left of your screen towards your left toe, and then back towards you, and then to the right. Forward, to the left, back, to the right, left, forward, left, back, right, and we pause in the forward position. Now go to the right, back, left, forward, right, back, forward, <laughs> forward here, sorry, right, and back, and forward. Reach the fingers and the palms towards me. Keep the spine elevated, vertical, and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands. Bring the, the legs together and find an easy way to come to standing. Doing a little breathing and movement uh, here, of course. We'll interlace our fingers, uh, I'm sorry, place your palms in front of your thighs. Inhale, coming to the toes, extending the fingers and the palms through the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. And exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Pause the inhale, reach through the fingers. And then exhale, release. Now interlacing the fingers once more, the palms go on top of the chest, relaxing the elbows fully. This time the arms are going to extend towards the ceiling and your feet remain firmly planted on the floor. Inhale, extend towards the ceiling, reaching the arms vertically, and then exhale, palms connect to the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, extend, and exhale, release. Extending out the arms at the level of your shoulders, way too high, way too low, of course, directly from the shoulder joint. Step the feet about the width of your hips. Inhale here, exhale, twist the body to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the body to the left, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right.
Inhale, center. Keep your feet firmly planted on the floor. And then left, exhale. Inhale, center. And pause. Now, place your palms towards the ceiling. Now we're just going to bend the elbows and tap the tops of the shoulders. Extend. Bend the elbows and tap. Extend. Bend the elbows and tap. Extend. Bend the elbows and tap. And extend. And then bend the elbows and tap the tops of the shoulders. Bring the elbows towards the face and rotate the elbows out to away from you. Opening up the shoulders. Sometimes when I do this position, I hear a little bit of crackles and stuff like that in my shoulder blades and the shoulder joints. Perfectly fine. Now rotate the elbows in the opposite direction. Getting a full rotation of the shoulders in both directions. And gently stop the practice. Bring your hands on your waist. Let's do a little thing for the neck. Uh, look up, keeping your eyes open at all times. And then look towards the floor. Look up. Look towards the floor. Look up. And look towards the floor. Look forward towards your screen. Now turn your head to the right. Look, look to the right. Then look forward. Look to the left. And look forward. Look to the right. And look forward. Look to the left and look forward. This time, bring your right hand behind the small of your back with the palm facing away from you. Take that left arm, bring it up and over the left ear to connect with the right side of the face. Gently lean the head to the opposite side, which should be your left. And then turn your head slightly to the direction of the floor. Then look up. Turn your head towards the floor and look up. It's a slight motion. Turn your head towards the floor and then look up. Now release this hand from the side of the right, uh, the, from the, the right ear. Bring the hand to the left side of the face and gently guide that head vertically. Switch out the arms. So the left arm goes behind the back. The right arm goes up and over to the left side of the face, gently guiding the head to the right. Turn your head towards the floor, then look up. Turn your head towards the floor, and then look up. Turn your head towards the floor, and look up. Now release that hand from the side of the face, the left side, bring your fingers to the right side of the face and gently return your head to vertical, releasing the palms down the sides of your body. This time, doing a little work on the eyes and the eye muscles, of course. Look forward. Now look up, just using your, eyeball, your eyeballs, and then look to the right. Look to the floor. Look to the left. Look up, look to the right, look to the floor, and look to the left, and look up. Now look to the left, look to the floor, look to the right. We're just using our eyeballs, look up. Look to the left, look to the floor, look to the right. And look up and look forward and close your eyes. We inhale together, taking a big, expansive breath. 
and we exhale together. Inhale. And exhale. Dip your chin slightly and open your eyes. Return your hand to vertical, keep your feet, your head to vertical, keep your feet firmly planted into the floor, more of your body weight towards your heels, lifting the chest, and then firmly press your, both of your feet into the floor. Take your right arm, inhale, the arm to the level of the shoulder blade. Exhale, flip the palm. Inhale, reach through the arm, adjacent to the face, so your arm is vertical next to your face. And then exhale, lean to your left. Inhale, vertical, chest returns up. Exhale, lean to your left once more. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, lean to your left. And pause. Breathing in and out of the nose, inhaling and exhaling. Our next inhale returns us to vertical. Exhale, arm comes to the level of the shoulder. Take an inhale here. Exhale, flip the palm and gently lower the arm till it's back to the level of the leg. Inhale, left, arm goes to the level of the shoulder, reaching through the fingers. Exhale, flip the palm. Inhale, arm comes to vertical, adjacent to the face. Exhale, lean the body to your right side. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, lean to the right. And be here. Inhaling. And exhaling. Our next inhale returns us to vertical. Exhale, lower the arms to the height of the shoulder. We inhale here, exhale, flip the palm, and then the arm lowers back to the waist, to the lower legs. Bring the palms on the small of the back so that the hands face the belly button. You can do this a variety of ways. The fingers can face the belly button. They can face the, uh, the floor, but I prefer uh, at the waist level with the fingers facing each other. Bring the elbows back uh, towards your heels. Inhale, push the pelvis forward, lean the body back. Exhale, return the vertical. Inhale, push the pelvis forward, lean the chest back. Exhale, return the vertical. Inhale. Push the pelvis forward. And exhale, return the vertical. One more time. Inhale, push the pelvis forward. Lean the chest back and be here, breathe. Inhaling and exhale. Our next inhale. And then exhale, return the vertical. Bringing the hands down towards the level of the thighs. This time, let's open up the knees a little bit. Bringing the feet adjacent, bend the knees pretty, please. The tops of the hands on the tops of the knees. No weight in the hands. Push your pelvis or your, 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 uh, your behind rear uh, away from you. And then circle the knees towards the right.
and then knee circles to the left. Straight arms, straight legs, step the feet apart. Now bend the knees once more, bringing the tops of the elbows on the tops of the thighs, reaching the head away from the tailbone and pressing the knees away from you, keeping the chest lifted. Your elbows are on the top of your thighs and you breathe. Inhale and exhale. Now we just lift the hips and straighten the legs and then bend the knees, keeping the elbows on the tops of the thighs. Lift the head, lift the legs, bend the knees. Lift the legs, lift the hips, and bend the knees. Lift the hips, and bend the knees. One more time, lift the hips, and bend the knees. Now, bring your hands where your elbows were, straighten the arms, lift the chest, keep the knees bent. Press the knees away from each other. Three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Bring in the hands to the waist once more. Shift your body weight to the right leg, lift the left foot. Ankle circles to your left. And then ankle circles to your right. Now flex and point the toes. And then spread your toes. Now wiggle the toes a little bit. And then release that left foot to the floor. Shift your body weight to the left foot. Extend that right leg forward. Now ankle circles to your right. And ankle circles to the left. Point and flex the foot. Now spread your toes. and wiggle the toes. Bring your feet the level of the hips <clears throat> with the feet facing forward and the knees relatively in line with the feet. Bring your hands to your waist once more. Lean the body to the right. Push the hips to the left. Inhale, return the body, body to vertical. Push the hips to the right. On your exhale, lean the body to the left. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, push the hips to the left. Lean the body to the right. Inhale, vertical. Left. Vertical. Right. Vertical, left, and vertical. Now, pause here, turn the chest to the right leg, lift that left heel, and breathe. Squeeze the left glute, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release that foot. Shift your weight to the left side. Turn your chest to the left. Lift that right heel and squeeze that right glute. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Keeping the feet at the level of your hips, let's do a little trikonasana stretch and breathing. Extend the arms to the level of the shoulders. You can keep your feet facing forward, or you can extend and turn that right foot away from the body so that the toes face towards the right. Reach first, uh, we're gonna reach the chest towards the right, and then lean the body towards the right. 
then up, return into vertical, reach the body to the right, and then lean the body towards the right leg. Return the body to vertical. Lean the body to the right. This time, pause and be here. Let's push our pelvis forward towards the screen. Reach our head away from our tailbone and reach that arm directly towards the ceiling. And breathe, of course. Inhaling and exhaling. Our next inhale returns us to vertical. Big breath. Turning that right foot back forward. This time, if you're keeping your feet facing forward, that's fine. If not, turn your left foot away from the body. Reach the chest towards that left leg. And then lean to the left. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, lean. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, lean, and be here. Now push the pelvis forward towards me. Reach the head away from the tailbone. And breathe. Then inhale, return to vertical. Exhale, turn that left foot forward, bend that left knee. And then gently step to your right, lowering the hands. Bringing your body back to the top of your mat or around a Sura Namaskara. Keeping your feet so that they're a little bit uh, narrower than your hips with your feet facing forward. We take our palms, bring them, of course, to Namaskara Asana with the palms connecting thumbs to the heart. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale, push your weight into your heels, push your feet firmly into the mat, and try to rip your feet apart. Rip the mat apart with your feet, lifting the chest, keeping your legs very active. Our next inhale, arms come to vertical, palms face forward, lean back, inhaling, hasta utasana. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward for Padmasasana, forward fold pose. Inhale, lift the chest, set the right foot to the right side of your mat for Asva and Chalasana or low lunge. Keeping the heel facing the ceiling, reach the knees apart, making sure this knee is over the ankle. And breathe, lifting the chest. Exhale, place the palms on the floor. Lift that right leg, step that left leg back for our high plank. Bend the elbows for chaturanga. Drop the knees down, lower the chest for asanga uh, namaskara. Hips up, chest down. Inhale, lift the chest for bhujandasana. Exhale, hips back and up for your downward facing dog. Heels to the floor. Push through the length of the arms. Inhaling and exhaling. That right leg steps in between the hands for Asvendalasana. Knee down, chest up. Reach the knees apart. Then the left foot steps next to the right for Padhasasana, forward fold pose. Inhale, extend the arms forward and up. Leaning the chest back for Hasta Uttasana. Exhale, the arms come out and down for Tadasana. Left side, Asana Namaskara, Namaskara Asana. Inhale, Hasta Uttasana, lean back. Exhale, fold forward for Padahasasana. 
Inhale, reach the chest up. Exhale, step that left back foot back to the left side of your mat for asana and chalasana or a low lunge. Reach the knees apart, reach the pelvis to the floor. Ensure that the knee is over the ankle. And breathe. Exhale, palms down, stepping back for our high plank. Bend the elbows for Chaturanga Dadasana. The knees down, chest down, hips are up for Asana Namaskara. Inhale, reach the chest up and forward for your Bhujangasana. You can leave your knees down, you can straighten your arms. Our next exhale, next exhale sends the hips up and back for your downward facing dog. Heels reach to the floor. Take a second or two to reach through the arms. Breathing through the in and out of the nose, reaching your chest towards the floor. Then step that left foot in between the hands for asana jalasana. Once more for your low lunge pose. Lifting the chest up. Then exhale, step that right foot next to the left. Padmasasana, forward fold pose. Inhale, extend the arms out and up. Or hasta utasana, leaning back. And then exhale, the arms come to the sides of the body for Tadasana. Asana Namaskara. <laughs> Namaskara Asana. Inhale. Asana Utasana. Exhale. Forward fold, Padmasana. Inhale, right leg. Asana and Chalasana. Low lunge pose, lifting the chest. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, bend the elbows. Ashtang Chaturanga Nadasana. Then lower the knees, lower the chest for Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, reach the chest up and forward for Bhujangasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, untuck the toes, lift the hips for your downward facing dog, Parvatasana. Inhale. And exhale. Right foot steps in between the hands for our low lunge pose, Asana Chalasana, knee down, chest up. Exhale, step the left foot forward, forward folding pose for Padahastasana. Inhale, reach the arms up and forward. Hasta Utasana. And then exhale, Tadasana. Namaskara Asana, palms connect, front of the chest. Inhale, reach the hands up. Asa Utasana. Exhale, fold forward, Padahastasana. Bend your knees if your hamstrings are too tight. Inhale, lift the chest. Step the left foot back. Asa Jalasana, low lunge pose. Exhale, palms down, right foot back. High plank. Bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Knees down, chest down. For Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, reach the chest up. For Bhujangasana, knees down, tops of the toes face the mat. Exhale. Push the hips up and back. Or downward facing dog, Parvatasana. Left foot in between the hand for Asanjalasana. Low lunge pose. 
right foot next to the left for a pot of Hastasana, forward fold, forward bend pose. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Leaning back, Asavutasana. Then exhale, return to Tadasana. Bring the hands behind the back. Set the foot, feet slightly apart in the level of your hips. Left hand, grab the right wrist, lifting the chest. Closing the eyes, pushing your weight into your heels, pushing your feet firmly to the floor. Taking a second to absorb the practice thus far. Then dip your chin, slowly open your eyes, lower the head and bring your hands next to the waist, next to the legs rather. Then inhale, extend the arms up and forward. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward. Grab the inner space of the toe, the big toe in between the little toe. Bend the elbows, release, relax the head. If you have any issues with high blood pressure, please lift your head higher than your heart. If you have issues with the hamstring being too tight, bend the knees, of course. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale once more. And exhale. Release the fingers from the toes. Bring the hands adjacent to the feet. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. You're in your high plank pose. Way too high, way too low at the level of your shoulders. And then release your knees to the floor. Make your knees as wide as your mat. Take your fingers so that they face forward. Press into the base of the pointer finger and the, the palm of the thumb, the lower portion of the thumb. Keep the arms straight. Now shift the hips right to left or left to right. Just the hips, keeping the arms straight. Now pause in the middle. Press firmly into your hands. Bring your feet and knees a little bit closer together. And then inhale, lift the knees, cover the knees off the ground. Exhale, straighten up the legs for your downward dog. Knees bend, cover. Straighten, downward dog. Knees hover. And straighten. Knees hover and straight. Knees hover. Breathe in and out of the nose and legs straight. Knees hover and legs straight. Pause here. Make your feet wide as your mat. Bend the knees pretty please and reach your tailbone away from the body. Relax the head. Reach through the length of your arms. Rotate the shoulders so that the shoulder blades are facing away from you or they're in the direction of your hips, reaching the chest towards the floor and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. And release the knees to the floor. Walk the knees back, the legs back until you can come safely on your elbows, on your forearms. Take a second here to completely relax the lower portion of your body. Ensure that the tops of the toes face the tops of the mat. Press into your palms and pull your chest towards your hands, shifting the weight of the body to the left and the right or the right to the left, but keeping the arms and the pull of your hands towards uh, your chest towards your hands.
Now relax by pausing in the middle, walking your hands to the right side of your mat. Now lift that left leg and hover, reaching through the heel. And lower, lift that left leg and lower. Lift that left leg and lower and lift that left leg and lower. One more, lift that left leg and hover. Three, keep breathing, two and one. Now walk your arms all the way to the left side of your mat. Lift that right leg and hover it off of the mat. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Last one. Lift and hover. Three, keep breathing, two, and one, lower. Bringing your palms back facing forward, your forearms. Extend your arms fully until your chest is completely on the floor. When you're here, you inhale, lift the arms and the legs. Same time, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, pointing through the toes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and be here. Breathing in and out of the nose, reaching through the toes, reaching through the length of the arm. And lower. Bring the palms so that they're stacked underneath your chin. Take a second or two to relax an arm across in the pose. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bend the knees pretty please. Flex the feet like you're trying to stand on the ceiling. And then tick tock your feet right to left, keeping the majority of your pelvis on the floor. And gently stop the practice when your feet return to center. Extend the legs till they completely relax on the floor and roll to your back. Extend your feet so that they are <laughs> completely straight. The palms connect to the floor. Inhale, right leg comes up, flexing the foot till it is vertical, keeping the toes below the belly button. And then exhale, lower the right leg. Left, inhale, flexing the foot. Exhale. Lower, right, inhale, exhale, lower, left, inhale, exhale, lower, right, inhale, lift, now bend the knee, Catching the, the knee with the tops of the hands, the left hand on the bottom, the right hand on the top. Completely relax that left leg. Gently guide the right knee towards the chest and to the right. Inhale until you feel the belly connect with the top of the thigh. And exhale, pull the belly into your spine. Inhale, expand the belly towards the chest, towards the thigh. 
And exhale. Belly button into the spine. And gently release that right thigh. Inhale, extend the left leg, bend that left knee, grab the knee with the hands on top. The left hand is on the bottom this time, the right hand is on the top. Completely relax the right leg. Gently grab, guide the left knee towards the belly and towards the left side of your mat. Inhale until you feel the belly make contact with the top of the thigh. Exhale, pull the belly in towards the spine. Inhale, expand. Exhale, belly into spine, and gently release that left leg. Bend the knees pretty, please, so that the knees face the ceiling. Your feet are as wide as your mat. The toes face in the direction of your knees. Make sure the knees are not caved in, but they are relatively facing the ceiling. And activate the leg muscles. Take a second or two to reach your hands towards your thighs and press your thighs into your uh, knee, your hands. And feel that activation of your legs. Keep that so that the knees face vertically. Keep it very active in the legs. Now the palms face the full floor. We inhale, we press into the feet, we lift the hips until we feel our glutes turn on. And then exhale, we lower. Inhale, push into the feet, reach the knees from the hips until our glutes come on. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, lift. And pause. Breathe. And then exhale, lower. and gently release the legs for your Shavasana pose. Bringing the legs close together, bringing the arms on the sides of the body so the palms make contact with the legs. Tighten the feet, <clears throat> tighten the toes, tighten the ankles, tighten the calves, tighten the thighs, tighten the kneecaps. Continuously breathe in and out of the nose while you try tighten your hips, tighten your arms to the sides of the body. Tighten shoulder blades, tighten the facial muscles, tighten, tighten everything that you possibly can. Take a big breath here and then exhale, release everything, letting the body naturally relax. Taking a deep breath by inhaling from the tips of the toes, through the legs, through the belly, through the chest, through the top of the head, and then exhale from the top of the head, through the chest, the length of the arms, the legs into your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale together. Exhale together. Inhale together. Exhale together. Inhale together. 
Pause the inhale. And then exhale together. Return to your normal breath. But can you relax your skin? Can you relax the skin so that you feel the muscles relax? Can you relax the muscles around the bones and feel like your bones are heavy making contact with the floor? Relax the skin, relax the muscles, feel your body, feel your bones heavy to the floor. Relax the skin, relax your muscles, feel the bones heavy to the floor. Relax the skin, relax the muscles, feel the bones heavy to the floor and breathe. One more time. Relax the skin, relax the muscles, feel your bones heavy to the floor and breathe. Start to make gentle movements in waking the body. Wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Reach the hands up and behind your back or slide them along the floor for a full body stretch, reaching through the fingers and the toes. Take a breath. Then exhale, roll up to the side facing the camera using that bottom arm as a pillow. Bend your knees slightly. Resist the urge to round your spine. When ready, gently guide yourself into your favorite seating, seating position as we close out our practice. Let's take a second or two to go through just a round of full body breathing or yogic breathing. You choose whatever position suits you best. We're going to adopt uh, a Chinmaya Mudra with the tops of the thumbs connected with the corner finger. Relax the palms on top of the hand, the top of the thighs. Relax the elbows fully. Close your eyes. Inhale through the belly, through the chest, through the shoulder blades, collarbones, through the top of the head. And then exhale from the top of the head, the collarbones, the chest, into the belly button. Bring the palm to connect for Namaskara Asana. Bring the thumbs to the center of the heart. Inhale together as we close out our practice. Exhale. Om Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Makachit Dukkha Bhavade Together Om Shanti 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 Taking the thumbs to the center of the head, bowing your head. I want to say thank you to all my friends, my families, and all the participants of this class. I thank you for supporting India House. The divine energy, love and light, loves and honors the divine energy and love and light in you. Be safe, my friends. Be healthy. Namaste.